welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would film a video about my watercolor collection. So I'm going to show you all what watercolor palettes I have, what watercolors I have, and I'm also going to go over some watercolor crayons and pencils that I have. So I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, let us start with my watercolors, like the palettes and stuff, and then I'll move on to individual colors and... Um, like crayons and pencils. So most of my watercolors are kept in this box right here. Ah, my candle. All of the palettes! So I will go through this bit by bit and then I will talk about the paints that are not kept in this box. So I will start out with uh, what is on top and you all have seen these paints a lot in my channel. They're the ones that I use the most. These are my Schmincke watercolor paints and they are, yes, very beat up. Almost all my watercolor paints are beat up. And when you open them up, this is kind of what they look like inside. Alright, so they open up like this. They're in a tin container. Um, this is a really, really nice container and I highly recommend it. The reason I mention it is because you can actually buy this um, like tin separately. So it's really nice. It's got four big palette wells up here and then smaller ones down here. So you can see those are kind of smaller wells. And then up here, these are the bigger wells. And then the actual watercolor itself comes lifts out. And there's more palettes down here. I just never really use them. That's really helpful. Like, I mean, you can set it all out like this and you have like all of this palette space and your watercolors. So that's really, really useful. Put that back in there. The watercolors themselves are held in with these like little metal kind of pushy things like that. Um, mine are mostly held in with dried paint now. but um, So when you want to replace them, you just kind of push it out and pull them out and then to put them back in, pull them back in and then you kind of squeeze it closed. They're not the most secure way of keeping pans in, like do, sometimes my pans do fall out, but they work pretty well overall. Um, the set came with a lot of colors. Um, they're all half pans. So the set did come with 48 half pans. This is what I ha this is the size of a half pan. I do have some full pans that I can show you as well, but these are all half pans. There are 48 of them and it came with two metallics, a gold and a silver, and it also came with like a wetting agent, which is this guy right down here, and it just kind of helps your paints stay wet for longer. So I really like this set. It comes with a really, really good assortment of colors. It is a pricey set. These are professional quality paints, and I think the set um, is around $300. It was my graduation present, and I really love it. The paints are beautifully pigmented, and it's just such a fantastic set and such a fantastic brand, and I do highly recommend them to anyone that wants to get more serious about watercolor. I think they're fantastic. So those are my Schmincke paints. Those are my favorite paints, and they are my most used palette. And move on. The next set of the big sets I have is this guy. This is by Daler and Rowney and this is quite an old set. I've had it since I was in high school. As you can see it's missing the little clasp right here. I mean you can still just push it open but there was originally like a little button and it looks like this. It is green and plastic with like a white bottom. It says Daler and Rowney on the top open it up this is what it looks like inside so it came with 20 colors and then I don't know if it came with tubes I know my mom has replaced these tubes because this is common <laughs> but it looks like it had room for tubes in it so 20 colors and then room for two tubes on the side and then there's room down here for brushes and things like that um I like Daler and Rowney paints I think they're good my mom doesn't like them that much but I don't know if it's just like a, I used them for so long and now I'm personally attached to them type thing, but I always liked them. Um, this set has two palettes, excuse us squeaking, that pull out on the side. Um, this up here has some tube paint that we that my mom squeezed in a little while ago. I don't really know what colors they are, like some sort of yellow and some sort of red. And uh, I like I like palettes with pull out kind of pull out sections. I think they're really nice and compact and neat. Obviously this doesn't have as much palette space as the Schmincke palette. That is unfortunate. The palette space is quite small compared to the size of the palette, but overall, you know, it's still got palette space. 
Um, so yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about this palette. It's a good palette. It was the palette that I used all through college and I like it and I have very fond memories of it but I don't use it very often anymore. As you can see all the paints are kind of dried up and starting to fall out so yeah. The next palette that I have is my St. Petersburg Yarka White Knight. Every time I try to say this, I don't know the proper name. It's like White Knight. They're Russian. They're great. Um, this is the set that my mom got for me because they were actually really, really affordable on the SAA, which is like the Society for Amateur Artists thing. I don't know. Um, and these are actually full pens. So it's a white plastic kit. Looks like this. Um, it's thicker than my other palettes. Um, it's about an inch thick. So in comparison, this guy is about the same thickness, but it doesn't feel quite as thick because it's not a full box. And then this is the slimmest of them all. So you can kind of see them all together, but this is definitely pretty hefty. When you open it up, you see two beautiful palettes. You've got, again, four really big white plastic palettes up top. And then you have this, which is really cool. It's um, a pull-out palette. So it just attaches down here and you take it out, paints underneath and you can turn it around and put it back in like that. So I thought that was a really neat way to do the palette. So I like that it's um, removable and you can move it around and do whatever you want with it. So it comes with two palettes, lots of palette space again. These are all full pans as opposed to the half pans, which is what the previous ones had. And these are great quality paints. They're really, really pigmented. This is the color chart for this palette. This is a 36 color palette, full pan. So really just a lot of paint. Like I'm not gonna run out of these ever. And like I said, great quality, super pigmented paints. Um, they're very glossy in the pan, which I like. And because they're full pans, they're really easy to like use and not get color into the other one. I also really like the way that they're laid out in the set. Um, I just think they're really easy and simple. I don't know. So yeah, these are my Yarka St. Petersburg White Knight paints. I like them a lot and I would highly recommend them as a great affordable option for professional quality paints. They're beautiful and they paint so well and I am a huge fan of those. All right, so the last big set I have to show you is not in this box. It is something that I usually keep outside of that box, kind of as a display item, because it's in this wooden case and it's so pretty. And it is Winsor & Newton. This set is very special to me because this was my first watercolor set that I ever, ever, ever owned. I got it when I was like, I, I got it when I still lived in England, so I was younger than nine years old. Um, and it's in this beautiful little wooden box with little clasps on the front. And this is student quality. This is Winsor Newton Cotman, I believe. And you open it up, and look how cute it is! Isn't it so cute? And it says, Alice Coles, 106 Dunkirk Avenue, Miss Purdy class. I guess my teacher's name was Miss Purdy. I don't remember her, so I'm sorry, Miss Purdy, but... I also don't live here anymore, or else I wouldn't have said that. I lived there when I was like eight. So, um, yeah, the top of it is wood, and it says Windsor Newton, and then it has some blue tack stuck to it up there, which, you know, I was young. And then my lovely color chart. If you notice, most of my things that have color charts are very neat with very neat handwriting. That's because my mother made them all. If it's laminated, my mother made it for me. Okay, so this is a 24 color set, Windsor & Newton Cotman. As you can see, I haven't used them in a while, but I did give them quite a bit of use when I was younger. Um, they're all arranged in a lovely rainbow order, and beneath it there is a plastic palette with quite some, with some nice deep wells that kind of slant down so you can get um, a decent amount of uh, paint down there. And they're all in these separate little wooden sections. Down here is a section that you can put little pipettes in, or brushes, your pencils, erasers, all of that will fit in there. So it's a really nice little compact set and while Cotman is just it is student quality I really like it. I think they're great paints and they bring back so many wonderful memories for me So I love this set and I actually should paint with it more often because I Don't know. It's just it's my childhood. So those are all of my large sets I do have some smaller and travel size sets so the other set that I have that doesn't stay in um, the box because it's a display piece is this guy. You've seen it before so I won't go over it too much but this is the set that I made in my DIY your own watercolor palette tutorial video which I will link down below if you want to check it out. But it's just this wooden box that I painted like blue and copper and inside you have a little plastic palette, um, a little color chart and then in here I have some paints. These are Dan Smith paints um, and 
and they're just the loose paints that I squeezed in there and let dry. And then there's a little section to hold all of your stuff. So this holds some of my Dunsmith paints. These are the Dunsmith paints that I bought myself is what is in here. So it's that guy. Now going on to the rest of in here. I have quite a few travel sets because I am obsessed with travel sets. I just think they're so cute. So the first one is this guy. It's by Raphael and I got it for free at school. There was these people and they came in and they were giving away free art supplies and it was the best day of my life. And it's this cute little donut shape, blue donut shape. It's like the size of my hand and it's got a little hole in the bottom. And when you open it up inside it's so cute there's like this little color chart right here um show you what the colors are a cute little natural hairbrush which actually this feels quite nice that sits perfectly in the middle and then over here you've got like this lovely little palette lots of small little wells and then a nice big one for mixing so it's a really cute layout for a travel palette i'm a big fan of it i don't use it too often um it's been a very long time since i've used it so i can't speak to the quality of the paints but i remember them being uh, decent quality and i definitely want to use this palette more because it's just so cute and I can't bring myself to get rid of it so this is the Raphael paint and it's a little travel palette so the next travel palette I have I actually just got it looks like this it's the Koi watercolors pocket field sketchbook and I got it because of a video review I saw on YouTube I believe it was I want to say Lamia Crescent she spoke very highly of them and I really wanted to try them and I just thought that look how cute that is like ah it's just so cute I love things like little things and like ah it's just adorable so up here you've got this um, plenty of little palettes again some small wells some big wells plenty more than you need for a small travel set so perfect and then over here you've got all of your paint so I got the smallest set it's 12 colors um, and it's a good arrangement of colors and then over here it came with a little sponge and then this cute little water brush which you can like take apart and then put back put together um, I'm not going to right now but it fits perfectly in there and then I also have a little bit of tissue paper that I have in there just to dry my brush off and I really like these paints I thought they were cute I mean they're not like the best paints in the entire world but I think they're perfect for just like throwing in your bag and doing a quick little sketch with so I really liked it and I just thought it was such a cute little set and it's so portable um, compared to the size of my hand and like, like three quarters of an inch deep so yeah very cute little travel set and I am a big fan of it I then have these two travel sets they look identical except for one looks very old um, they both say super fine quality Van Gogh so yeah this is what they look like these are not the same they are the same but I got these I inherited these from my mother so this is the original set this is what it originally looks like with Van Gogh paints in it. Now I highly recommend Van Gogh paints for beginners. They are great quality, very pigmented for student quality, and they're just really lovely paints to work with. Um, I'm a big fan of them. So this was my go-to travel set for a very, very, very long time. These two, I would alternate between these two. And as you can see, big well, two little small wells, nice mixing area. It comes with a little sponge you can dry your brush off of, which is great. And then um, all these little colors right here. It doesn't have a place to really put your brush, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, you take what you can get. You could fit a very small little travel brush right here, and I want to say maybe it originally came with a small travel brush that fits there, but um, because it's such a small space, it'd be hard to like kind of customize your own brush to fit there. I prefer ones that have like an actual well for the brush, but still a good little travel set. It's got 12 colors in it, including white, which I don't really count, but <laughs> you know. So this is what the original looks like. Now this guy says in very faded writing Cotman on the top and that's because my mom replaced it with Cotman colors. So this actually has more colors than the than this guy because as you can see my mom took out the sponge and replaced it with three more half pans. So that's pretty cool. If you want to squeeze more paints in, you could just take this out and you can fit three half pans in there. And these are Cotman. Again, um, I used to use this for traveling a lot and um, it's got uh 15 colors in it and my mom also replaced the white so this is a bit more of a customized set she took a set that she liked and she added in um colors that she preferred to use so this one for me is a little more versatile just because the colors in it are colors that i use a little bit more often this is a really great palette and just an example of how you can customize a palette to fit your needs which i have done a lot 
So the next palette I have is this guy. Um, I think there's so many cool different watercolor palettes out there. It's really interesting. So this is a lovely little cylinder and it is by Daler and Brownie and it's got this little thing here which I think you can like put your thumb in or something. I don't know. I never do that. But it opens like this. This is so cool. It's like it's like a what are they called? Those cars that turn into like robots. It's like a transformer. It's like a transformer. See? It's like a circle and then it opens. What? <laughs> so this is a great travel set. I really love the design of this set because it folds up so compact and small, but you really get a lot of bang for your buck when you open it up. You've got eight different wells between here and here that you can mix in. So that's really great. And then you've also got 12 paints. Most travel kits tend to be around 12 colors. It's pretty standard. And then right here, you've got two long uh, wells that you can fit brush a brush and a pencil in. And then you've even got down here where you could stuff some, uh, like a piece of foam or some paper towel. So you can really fit a lot of stuff into this palette and it is really useful for traveling. So these are the Dela and Ronnie paints. I believe these are the same type as the ones that are in my green kit that I showed you earlier. I like them. I think this is a really good selection for travel. I really like that there is not a white in it. Now, I also inherited this from my mother, so I do not know if the white, if there was originally a white in it and she replaced it. There's a high chance that that may have happened, so I can't guarantee that these are the original colors that came in it, but I think the selection that's in there right now is a pretty good selection. I like this one. I think it's cute. Continuing with travel, I have this little guy. Now this is going to be completely unhelpful for everyone because my mother made this. I have no idea what paints are in it and I don't know how she made it, but I'm going to show you it anyway because this is my collection. It's tiny. It's three inches by like two and a half inches. It's in this little black box. And it's got a little thumb thingy on the bottom. I don't really know where she got this box from, but it's really cute. And as you can see inside, there's like a couple little wells that you can mix in. And then there's these cute little divide, like metal divided sections. And she's squeezed paint into it. I'm not sure what paint it is. My guess would be maybe like a Windsor and Newton or a Daler and Round. Probably Windsor and Newton. My mom likes Windsor and Newton more than Daler and Rowney. So I would guess that that's what is in here. Um, but don't quote me on that because I don't know. Maybe she'll comment down below and tell us what's in here. Mom, what paints did you give me? But I just think this is so cute. I mean, it's tiny, like it's miniature and it still has 13 paint colors in it and plenty of room to mix, room to fit a small brush and a small paint, a uh, small brush and a small pencil in here. Like it's just like the perfect little size and um, it's got a really great selection of colors in it. So I really like this one. This is perfect if I just want to throw something tiny in my bag and just have it in case I need it, but not add any extra weight. So, and you can make your own small um, carrot portable watercolor palettes with like Altoid cases and stuff. So really easy and fun. I then have this guy, which again, I will not focus on too much as you have already seen this, but this is my Dan Smith palette. I made it out of an old hard candy makeup palette. Inside you have a mirror and then a lovely little color chart um, for the Daler and Round, uh, for the Dan Smith paints that are in it. And then all of the paints are just squeezed out. The only exception is this guy right here, this green and gold. This is the Win Windsor Newton green and gold. Everything else is Dan Smith. So and I really like this palette because it's got so many colors in it. It's got like 20 colors, I think. And they're all really fantastic and really great quality. And for Christmas, I'm asking for Dan Smith paints so I can have a big palette and I'm so excited. Anywho, that is my Dan Smith palette. Now, this is my last travel palette. It is the one that I use the most frequently and I adore it. This is a palette that I have customized quite a bit. So I will tell you all about that. So. This is the Windsor and Newton travel set. It is amazing. I adore the way that this set is laid out. And my mother actually used to have one of these that she won and I like coveted it. And I ended up getting my own for Christmas and then promptly replaced all the paints in it. But it's worth it because even if you're gonna replace the paints in it, the, the way this set is designed is just ingenious. So it looks like this, it's a blue box. Um, it's the TARDIS. It's about five inches tall. Um, just under three inches wide and about an inch and a bit, inch and a half, maybe inch and a quarter thick. So you pull this off and it does this. So this is your water cup, um, which is great, built-in water cup. There's also a little thingy on the back, but like I said, I never use those. Then you open this up and, ah, this is just so cool. 
look how awesome this is. And then you take this and you put it on that. So in this tiny little set, you have this guy. This is a water bottle, so it holds water so you can bring water with you. Wow, and I use it as a palette too. Um, you can bring water with you wherever you're going, so that's really cool. Right here, and the set does come with this. It comes with this beautiful little portable brush. Um, it's a great size. It's a little small, you know. Sometimes you might want to have a slightly bigger brush. I think it's about a two, but it closes up into this lovely little metal contain metal tube and then it fits just perfectly right here so really really great that it includes that literally this is I just I love this set and then you've got these two fold up palettes right here and then the um, front of the water bottle is also designed to work as a palette now I normally have a piece of tissue paper right here as well. I believe it comes with a sponge, but I got rid of that because I don't use sponges. I use tissue paper, so I usually just wad up some tissue paper and shove it right there. Then you've got your water that you can fill right here, and then you have the paints right here. Now these paints are very easy to refill. Right here, there, I'll take this off so you can see. Right here there's a little like catch, and you can kind of push the catch, and then you open it up. And so it does this. So this is how you can take out these paints on the side and then the paints on the top You just kind of slip them out like that And put them in and then you close it down and it just latches into place which holds all of these into place um, And then obviously like I said it comes with a sponge or you want to have some sort of paper towel right here Because that kind of stops them from sliding forward now, I did mention that I do not have the original paints in here. I replaced these with all of my own paints. These are from the Zeki, from Zeki, which is an art store in Florence, Italy. It's right down the street from the Duomo. If you ever find yourself in Italy, please, please, please go visit Zeki's. Zeki's is an amazing, amazing art store, and this is their home brand of watercolor paints. They're made with honey. I love them. They're fantastic to paint with. Um, they were relatively for affordable, and um, you can buy them by the pan individually. So I bought each of these individually to create my own custom set so yeah this is a really really great one it is my favorite travel set um, and I would highly recommend it to every single person I ever meet ever because it's awesome look how cute it is okay and that is all of my travel sets now I do have some other things that are not in palettes so this is where I keep all of my loose watercolors so in here I have loose watercolor um, tubes and I also have watercolor pans and I will go through those real quickly. Alright, so the first of those that I have to show you are these tubes. These are the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. These are um, quite small. They are 5 milliliters and these come in sets so I bought these each in a set of six. And these are the paints that were in my watercolor box that I made, which was this one right here. So these are the paints that are in here, and these are what is left. There's still plenty of paint in them. You really don't need a whole lot. So this is kind of what my Daniel Smith collection looks like right now. Also in tubes, I have these. These are very cheap watercolors, but they're low Cornell, low Cornell metallic watercolors, and they look like this. And it's just a bunch of metallic watercolors. So there are 11 of these. I suspect there were 12 at some point, um, and I've just lost one. But I do have duplicates of a couple, so maybe I've combined two packets. But they're really cheap, and they're great for adding a touch of sparkle to your paintings. So these are all my metallic watercolors. Okay, so I also have some pans here, and I have these guys, which are just empty pans. These are because I want to create a little travel set in like an Altoids tin or something. So these are to put my paints in when I create that. So that is what those are for. And then I have these guys, which are actual like paints in pans. So I have these two. Um, this is cobalt. This is cobalt blue and Bordeaux Matter Lake. These I believe are Zeki brand paints. And they're just two colors that I bought and then I ended up going and replacing with different colors because they were either not the color that I expect them to be or they were too similar to another color. So I have these and they're just not in a set right now because um, I took them out. <laughs> and finally I have these guys and these are wrapped up with these a are Schminke and they're just the individual pans and they look like this. This is Ultramarine Violet. Um, and the reason that I have these is because these are colors that I'm starting to run out of in my large set and so when those are completely gone I can replace them with these guys so those hang out in there as well. 
The last things that I have to show you are my watercolor pencils and my watercolor crayons. I don't have too many of them because I do primarily work in paints, but I do think they're fun and versatile to have. So I'll start with the watercolor pencils, which I keep in this old tin box. And I have three different brands of watercolor pencils in here. I won't pull every single one of them out, but I will show you what I have. I have these watercolor pencils. They're by Low Cornell, and they're just basic watercolor pencils. These were the first ones that I had, and let's be honest, they suck. <laughs> Um, I really should get rid of them, but I have a hard time getting rid of art supplies, but they're basically completely unpigmented, and um, I can't really do a whole lot with them, but I mean, they're okay for sketching, I guess, but I don't think that they really work as watercolor pencils, but I have them anyway, um, you know. And then I have one of these. This is the Albrecht Durer by Fiber Castell, and this is awesome. Like these are great. These are so pigmented and such good quality, and I want like a million of them. These are my favorite watercolor pencils that I've ever used. I only have one. I do not know where I got it from or why I only have one, but it's in there and it's in one of my favorite colors, so I'm okay with it. The watercolor pencils that I have the most of are these, and these are by Derwent, and they're the Derwent watercolor pencils, and these are great. Um, they were relatively affordable for a large pack, especially when I used a coupon to get them, and um, they work really well. I don't like them quite as much as I like the Albert Durer ones, but they are really, really good. I love to throw these in my bag so I can sketch with them and then add some shading to the sketch with just a water brush, so I would highly recommend these watercolor pencils. I like them a lot, and I have a pretty large set of them. I don't remember exactly how many. I think it was the 24 pack so and it came with a really really great variety of colors which I really loved the last thing that I have to show you in my watercolor collection is these watercolor crayons that I have these are by Stadler. This is the original tin that they came in, which now houses some makeup. Um, but they came in this tin, and it came with 12 of them, and they are really, really great products. They're very pigmented. Um, this is kind of how long they are. And they're really fun to work with. They're very pigmented, very colorful. Um, it does come with a white, which I do feel is a bit of a waste of product um, since I don't use white very often or at all in watercolor painting since I use the white of the paper. Um, like I said, there are 12 of them. These are all of the colors that you get. There's a good skin tone in there, um, at least as a base for a skin tone. These are extremely pigmented, and because they are so pigmented, they can be a little hard to work with at times, but they are really fun, and I think they're great for things like art journaling. So yeah, those are my watercolor crayons. So that is my entire watercolor collection. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything I had. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Just to know this isn't me bragging or anything like that. I just thought it might be helpful for people to see all of the paints that I have so they can see if they want like any reviews or if they have any questions over them. I can kind of give you my opinion. Also, like I did not I do not have a bunch of money. I just most of this stuff was given to me by my mother second hand. Almost all of it was given to me by my mother second hand. The rest were either presents or I built them up piece by piece, little by little. So um, I've been collecting art supplies since I was about 10. So I've been collecting these for a really, really long time. So if your collection isn't this big or you think I'm just like, super rich like no it's okay just like buy pieces little by little and collect your whole life and mine is nothing compared to some people I know <laughs> mom <laughs> um so yeah thank you so much for watching as always have a great rest of your day bye I've always liked Katara as a character. She's not like my favorite character from Avatar, but I've always really liked her and respected her. Even though I don't necessarily agree with all of the decisions she makes, I think that she is a really strong character and a really good role model. And I really like- Oh, it's Emily. Oh, it's Emily. She's only been knocking on the door for five minutes. Oh, sorry.